going to show you how to upgrade your memory on an Zeus EPC. It's one of the sub laptops here. You're going to need, first of all, jeweler screwdrivers, uh, specifically a number zero Phillips, which I'll take out. Of course, you'll need to buy laptop memory. This is standard laptop memory, um, DDR2, 667 megahertz. Um, also, DDR2 533 will work equally well in here, but I just bought a Corsair value select that should work just fine. About uh, five on the CAS, which is more than enough for an EPC. So your CAS latency isn't going to matter too much. But let's go ahead and close it down. I'm going to disconnect it from the power while it's charging. I'm going to go to the back. I'm going to hold open the unlock for the battery. Set this one to unlock as well and gently take out the battery. Because all of a sudden our EPC will be pretty light after that. But you'll see a panel back here. This is going to be where the memory actually is. And EPC uh, itself has this little sticker on here that Zeus used to worry about you upgrading the memory on the systems. Now they've retracted that statement. You're free to go ahead and upgrade and put whatever memory you want into there. So I'm going to remove that little sticker here. You can remove this nicely if you want. You could stick it somewhere else, or you could just completely take it off your system. I'll probably end up taking mine off. Two little screws on here. Let me go ahead and undo them. And then I'll pop this little case open here. Make sure you don't drop the screws anywhere. These are really hard to find. They're real easy to get lost. Right here, you'll see two little clips on each side of the memory. This is a standard 512 meg RAM module they have in here. I'm going to go ahead and pop those. You gently press along the side of them, and the memory will pop itself out. Once the memory is out, it's actually a little more difficult to get out than most put it away in a safe spot. I'm going to go ahead and open up my new memory that I bought. It's a 2 gig module. Uh, the default Xandros install is only going to support 1 gig of memory. But if you rebuild the kernel, it will support up to 2 gigs. Because the actual unit, the actual sub laptop, will take up to 2 gigs of RAM. You want to make sure that your little notch lines up there uh, with a the little notch inside the laptop itself. Um, see, obviously it just wouldn't fit that way. Usually, um, on most laptops, the sticker on the memory is going to line up to be facing outward. But that might not be true for everything. For the EPC, that's going to be true. So I'm going to gently put that in there. Make sure it goes all the way down. Shouldn't be any resistance necessarily. And then both sides use your thumb and gently press it into the slot until it clicks. And you'll see that the little tabs actually click over top of the memory. So that should be in there. Now I could close this up and then go ahead and try to boot the PC, but I'm going to leave it open to make sure that I actually have it in completely right. Put the battery back into there. Your battery's charged, there's no need to plug it back into AC power. But we'll just see if it took the battery and took the memory. And I get to get power lights on it. It looks like the memory is good, otherwise it wouldn't boot up or screen up at all. When it does power up, you'll have a tab on here that says Settings. I'm going to go ahead and go to Settings. And you can do, you can find out two different ways uh, what memory you have installed. You can just click on System Info, which see, it tells me now I have one gig of memory in there, because it only recognizes one gig with the current build of Xandros, the Linux kernel in there. Um, so I can close that. You can also go to Diagnostic Tools and you scroll down a little bit and see this one actually tells you by the system it has two gigs in there. You can do details on it if I want. Choose RAM. 
and it'll show me it's a DDR2 and then the only bank it has and it's 2 gigs. So that lets me know it recognizes the whole 2 gigs of RAM. So that's it. That's all there is to it. I'm going to shut it down here. Now that we know it works, I'll go ahead and put the uh, lid back on it. And it shuts down very fast. Let's put this 512 aside. You're going to snap the lid back in there. It has to fit in with these tabs first in the back. And it will snap in on both sides. Put your little tiny screws back in here. Go ahead and put those back into the laptop. You don't want to over tighten these, it's a very gentle amount of pressure and force you need on these. 